afternoon and welcome to Wholesome Roots. All right, so we've decided that our ducks need to be relocated to a safer spot. And we have just the spot in mind. And the first step is probably gonna be the toughest is gonna be catching all of the ducks. Have you ever tried to catch 14 flappy ducks? It's not easy. So we're gonna start with these four that are gonna be the hardest four to catch, don't you think? Oh, I count five. Five. But yeah, I think they're gonna be the hardest ones. Yeah. What do you girls think? You gonna let us catch you? We'll see. What are you boys doing? Oh, okay. guys you're in here for just a minute while we get the fence down so that we can set it up in a safer location for you so if you've been following our duck saga we have been having some issues with predators and so we've come up with a plan to put them in a safer location and the hardest part is getting the weeds out of the fence I was not thinking that was going to be the hardest part, but apparently the weeds really, really grew into the fence. So this is a note to all you homesteaders out there, don't allow the weeds to grow through your fences. Now, keep in mind, we're talking about Creeping Charlie and Kudzu, two of the most invasive vining plants there are in the world, which is why this isn't a garden anymore, because it's really hard to fight those. So these sweet little ducks will get a nice new location and we're gonna bring our other ducks over there as well. All right, so Rose and Liam went back into the house because Liam is gonna take a nap. So Rowan and I, we have all of the ducks' belongings with us. They're fenced, a bigger pool, and what's gonna be their home, their, their duck house, we loaded it up into the Titan and we've brought it over here um, to where their new home's gonna be. The Titan's not mine, y'all. I wish it was. Um, but you know, who's, who says getting rear-ended is a bad thing because this is the rental they let me use. I love it. I love it. I wish it was mine. But I can, I can dream, can I? All right, you guys, take a look at the future home of the Wholesome Roots Duck Squad. It might look like it's occupied already. It is. This is where the bucks hang out during the daytime. But we're gonna put the ducks in here and it's gonna keep them a lot safer. Their, their poultry netting is gonna be hooked up to the good energizer that we have here. This one We'll put out enough juice to keep it hot enough that if any predators try to get in, it's gonna zap them good. Where they were before, that, that Energizer was really weak and obviously was not doing a good job. So they'll have extra protection from the higher amount of electricity and they'll also have the added protection of a, a solid fence surrounding them. So, we're gonna combine all of our ducks within, and now we just have to set up their new area.
Hey Ryan, you need a hand? No, I got it. <laughs> You're so big and strong. Now I'm telling them about my Titan. Your Titan. You wish it was your Titan. <laughs> Anybody want to donate? I want a Titan. <laughs> Ryan's truck is in the shop, so the insurance got him a rental vehicle and he's in love with it. All right, so I got Liam down for a nap so I can assist Ryan a little bit. Although he seems to have it all under control, doesn't he? So we've got inside this fence, there are two electric wires running around the outside perimeter. So it's connected to the charger with this wire. And it's also got a wire down here, which is great predator protection. And it keeps the goats in. And then inside of that, we're going to connect our chicken net fence around the duck area and connect it to electricity. So there'll be an extra layer of protection so that if any predators come along, our ducks will be safe. Very safe. Well, that was eventful. The bottom just opened out on us. So. We're, we're taking shelter in the barn, uh, maybe source some materials for our roof for the, for the duck house. We're going to put a, a metal tin roof on it so they'll, or an overhang so they have some more shade and some more shelter. From rainstorms like this. <laughs> Did you get all wet? Yeah. You like that? You like those Georgia rainstorms that just come out of nowhere and then leave? Yeah. Did you find any rainbows? Yeah. <laughs> what? No. What language are you speaking? What? Yeah. <laughs> I know a flower rainbow. Aw, maybe next time. Keep looking. Daddy is getting the fence all stretched out so it won't be tangled. And of course these fences are a little bit further apart in their post than our goat fence so they tend to tangle more. But we're doing our best. Eugene is supervising, making sure Ryan's doing it okay. He says, wait, wait, nope, 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 you gotta grab the other piece. Oh, oh, okay. Wait, wait. Let, let me grab this one for you. So, once we lay out our perimeter shape of fence, and make sure we don't enclose your gene, then we start at the beginning, hammering in the fence post one at a time, making sure to pull it very tight in between each hammer. We've got these scrap tin roof pieces that we're using to create a nice shady sheltered area so the ducks can get out of the weather and the sun and the rain if they choose to, which they hardly ever do. They kind of like it. All right, that's the perfect makeshift shelter for our ducks. And Rowan and Liam are making it extra cozy by adding hay to the nest boxes. We are repurposing all kinds of junk, aren't we? All right, guys. Let's see what you think of all this new lush vegetation. <laughs> They're like, oh, it's taller than me. We're not going to be able to find them. They're gonna be lost in this tall stuff. They're like, where do we go? We can't see anything. Maybe we should have let them out over there where the pool is. Go on, guys. Go explore. Go on. There you go. They'll make their way. They'll make little paths, finding their way around.
What next, Ryan? Now they need water for their swimming pool so they can have water to drink and splash around. And then we'll give them some food. All right, let's do it. I did the nesting part and it was really hard work. And I get and I got some sweat on me. You are so sweaty from all your hard work putting that straw in the nest box. And whose idea was it to put the straw in there? Dad. No. You. It was your idea. You said that we should put straw in their nest box, didn't you? Because I, I because I just saw some hay in there already. Yeah. And they like it, don't they? So, so, I, so I just finished the rest of it. You did a good job. Thank you for helping. You're welcome. All right, I started collapsing the sides in to make it easier to catch them. And I think we're going to be able to get them all. So it appears that Squints, our silver apple yard, is a drake. And it appears that we have at least two, three, I think, um, of the anacondas are also drakes. So we might be able to sell a mated pair to somebody local that is looking to expand this heritage breed, rare breed duck. what it's like farming with a toddler who didn't get a long enough nap. Liam! Liam! What's wrong, buddy? What's wrong, little buddy? You just tired? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna go back in as soon as we let these ducks out and daddy's gonna finish the chores, okay? Yeah, we'll have some of that. All right. These anacondas and one silver apple, apple, I've never been able to say that. Silver apple yard have never been in such a huge area. So this will be interesting to see what they think of it. And they've also never been with the other ducks. So they've only met from on one side of a gate before. So we'll see how they interact. And I have something else I want to say. Let's release the quacking. <laughs> that, Lane? that was awesome. Oh, they're so cute. They went out pretty fast. Yeah, now you can get the hose. That's right, Rowan. They don't know what to think. The other ducks are not doing anything. Just in case any of you were wondering. They're just sitting there like nothing's happening. And Liam's crying some more. Come here, buddy. We're gonna wrap this up for our section of this help and let daddy finish the chores on his own with Rowan's assistance and we'll call it a day for us.
Really? Yeah, you've seen them. But yeah, they've come and said hello to you. <laughs> what you doing, Rowan? Oh, uh, I'm I'm seeing the 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 the, the water. You are. They want to see that water, don't they? I think they're waiting until you're done filling it up to jump in and drink it all and poop in it. All this magnificent, lovely, lush space for them to explore and to be completely safe. There is no way a predator is going to go through two lines of electric fence and an entire electric net fence. And this charger right here, let me tell you, if you're looking for a good fence charger, this is the way to go. It will make this net fence way stronger than it's ever been when we had it over in the old spot. So there's going to be safety and comfort for everybody, especially us. We won't have to worry about our babies anymore. And I'm going to set that trap right in the middle of where the ducks used to be. <laughs> Jump in! And here we are in duck world. Right now, we have two separate factions of ducks. I think they've seen each other. I know they've heard each other, but they still haven't quite interacted yet. I'm gonna try to get the groups to come out here and we're gonna give them some food. Staying well away. Let's see what happens next. both eating, both of the groups. I think we'll leave them be for the moment. They're gonna meet up and they're gonna interact. It's bound to happen. Whether it happens on camera, that is to be determined, but I must move on. I have other things to do. All right, well that about wraps it up for our big duck move today. Hopefully they'll be a lot happier, a lot safer in uh, inside this pen together with each other. And only time will tell. So we had to do something to give them some more space and to get those uh, baby ducks out of their, uh, their uh, tractor that they were in. So now they're all together and hopefully everything stays fine. Um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for watching Wholesome Roots. Like the video share it subscribe to our channel if you want to get notifications of our future videos and just so you know uh, if you didn't see yesterday's video our son Rowan actually took the reins on that one and we're very proud of him he did a great job hosting a video all about taking care of our chickens so if you guys haven't seen that already go check it out and we'll see you next time on wholesome roots
All right. Well, this is our last night together. Yeah, I, I know. It, it's so sad. But the the truth is, I have another truck out there, and and she still needs me. And so tomorrow, I'm gonna have to take you back. Yeah, I have to take you back to the rental company. I know, I know. Don't don't tear up on me. Don't do that. We, we have lots of good memories together. I mean, do you remember that time that we took the ducks from one side of the farm down to the other and, and, and all the stuff that went with them? Do you remember that? See, see, I, yeah, that's a nice smile. I knew, I knew you would remember that. Um, it's, it's, it's gonna be tough, but there's, there's gonna be other drivers out there there's going to be other people that that appreciate you for who you are and, and and they're going to enjoy you just as much as I did and I promise you when I when I see you around town I'll smile and I'll wave and you just remember you, you just remember all the good times we had you know every every time I go to turn the key in, in my in my truck I'm gonna remember you because you were so awesome. You didn't even need a key. All I had to do was just just push your button and and you you turned on. And I'm gonna miss that. I'm gonna miss so many things about you. Um, your 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 awesome you know V8 engine, your four wheel drive, and your pretty color. I love your color. I've never seen a color on a truck that I love so much. And I didn't even think I was into red trucks, but this this crimson or whatever color you call that, I, I just oogle and ogle over it. Um, so let's let's just make this last drive that we take the best that, that we can. And tomorrow morning, I don't wanna talk about how we're gonna part ways. We're just gonna enjoy that last drive, okay? You, you just keep on keeping on. I'm gonna miss you so much. Mm -hmm.